Welcome back, friends, Lost Garfi, and it's time for more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Farewell, my turnabout part 3 1 investigation. So, we're gonna try to find Maya, I guess? March 22nd, 5 24 p.m., right and kill law offices. Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! Sniffa, sniffa. There, there, Pearls! I. I can't take it anymore. Wah! I can't do a kid crying. Look, look! It'll be alright. Everything may still work out. Huh? The condition was that we had to get a not guilty verdict. And so far, the kidnapper has kept his word and hasn't hurt Maya. And he won't because Mr. Ungard hasn't been given a guilty for sentence yet. Uh huh? Hmm. Cheer up! We don't have time to stand around crying. We have to get going. Hmm. Yeah, you're white. Miss Maya is much more pain than I am. Yes, that's right. So! Hey, you guys! Glad I caught you, pal! <laughs> Holy crap! M Mr. Scruffy Detective? Oh boy. Looks like Detective Gumshoe. has been dubbed Mr. Scruffy Detective in Pearl's book now. It's just playing old Mr. Dick Gumshoe now, and I came to talk to you, pal. But we're kind of busy right now. Right, let's talk to him. So, what are you going to do from now on? Hey, what do you mean, pal? Well, you've been fired, right? So, do you have a new job lined up yet? Oh, that! <laughs> what am I supposed to do now, pal? Uh, I don't have anything coming in, uh, in at all until my next paycheck. Uh, payday? W what are you talking about? You gonna have another payday? I guess that means I'm just gonna have to work here at your place, pal. T say what? I'll be searching for things that will prove Mr. Ungard's innocent all, all day, right? Well, well yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go help you, pal. I've got lots of experience in investigating and watching over people's places. And I'm great at making really simple meals, pal. I'll take care of it all. Come on, Mr. Nick. Let's let Mr. Scruffy Detective take care of things. <laughs> uh, okay. By the way, what's your best dish? Instant noodles, pal. Why am I surrounded by people who only eat cheap, unhealthy foods? That was the first time I've ever seen Mr. Edgeworth act like that. I never thought he'd say something like he didn't care if Miss Andrews killed herself. He, he said that? That's horrible. But because of him doing that, we got the truth finally. The truth. Miss Andrews' last testimony. I wonder if that was the truth. I'll give you that. There was nothing strange in her testimony itself. But I still think there is something fundamentally wrong with the whole thing. You mean that thing, pal? Why would you want to... No, I mean almost need to frame Mr. Ungard. I couldn't figure that out from anything she said all day. Then, then you're saying that testimony was a lie? Not a lie, per se. It just feels like there's more here than meets the eye. Or that's what Edgeworth would like us to believe. Th that's such a dirty twig. Even that woman prosecutor was better than that. Francesca Von Karma. Speaking of Miss Von Karma, do you have any information on her condition? Wasn't she shot this morning? Miss Von Karma was shot today on the way to the trial by a pistol, pal. But... but but she's going to be fine, right? I mean, Edra said she was in stable condition, but... Well, she was shot in the shoulder, so she's okay and still hanging in there. They should be done taking the bullet out, so she's probably resting at the hospital. Which one? What? Are you going to visit her, pal? No, no. Well, I was kind of thinking about it. Hey, you've actually got a heart, don't you? She looked like she was being tortured to death not being able to go to the trial today. 
So maybe it'd be good for her to if you went and let her whip you for a bit, pal. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Hmm. Let's go let her whip us, Mr. Nick. Uh, now I'm definitely not going. Um, let's see, the name of the hospital. Oh yeah, the Hardy Clinic. That name sends a chill down my spine. Well, I guess it can't hurt to stop by and say hi. The Hardy Clinic. Gotta reshoot, gotta reuse assets. Never thought I'd ever come back to this place. Hmm, <laughs> yes, are you here to visit a patient? Hmm. Ah, hi! Wait a second, you're. <laughs> yes, I'm Director Hardy. <laughs> Why are you still here? Hmm, <laughs> yes. Well, what is it? <clears throat> can I help you? You can tell me, uh, <laughs> yes. Director Hardy. Oh, okay, Dark Hardy. <laughs> Edgeworth? Mm, yes, I'm Director Hardy. <laughs> oh, you're the man for this morning. <laughs> yes. What is it? Uh -huh. Director Francesca. How is Francesca von Karma? Mm, you don't need to be worrying. <laughs> yes, she's in good hands. Because you see, I'm basically taking good care of her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm, yes, and that thing, that surgery, it went well. <laughs> You have my gratitude. Yeah. It looks like Edgeworth doesn't know about this director and his secret. She looks so pitiful, absolutely terrified. <laughs> yes. I understand. <laughs> yes. Her opponent was a gun after all. <laughs> and when I snuck up on a real secret like, she would scream real loud. <laughs> yes. I see. <laughs> but she's really cute too. When I do that, she'd whip me with her whip. <laughs> Boy, did I cry like a baby. <laughs> yes. But I think I could get used to it. <laughs> uh. Well, look who's up and not uh, having a problem with our whipping arm. Go back to your room. <laughs> You're so mean, ma. Huh? So mean, my frisky frisky. <laughs> but that's good to- uh Oh! Okay, okay, uh, mm, Yes, uh, time for my IV drops. Mm. Yes. Hmm. And what are those tulips doing in your hand, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Ah! I knew I shouldn't have come here. Uh... Have some flowers. Okay. The shooting. I was shot in front of co the courthouse in my right shoulder. Hmm. It's no big deal. This sort of thing happens all the time. I even had full intentions of running this trial this morning. But... but that would have been too much. Yeah! You look like you were deathly scared until only a few minutes ago. But I was dragged here by that prosecutor. He even went as far as to grab me by the wrist at the whole way here. It was the only logical course of action, given the bullet was still lodged in your shoulder. But with me doing the so, I found myself having to clean up after you and that irresponsible deal you made. Hmm. I think I know what deal she, he's referring to. The deal. Miss Von Karma, you made a deal with Miss Andrews yesterday, didn't you? I don't know what you mean. In order to make sure you got your guilty verdict on Mr. On Guard, you told Miss Andrews to not testify in court today. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. You have proof that I made such a deal? Y you're denying it? It looks like you were lucky, Mr. Phoenix, right? If I had been in court today, this trial would already be over. All while hiding Miss Andrew's own crime? That isn't my problem. Whether she had tampering with evidence or not. I have only one objective. To find on guard guilty of murder. The end justifies the means, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The end justifies the means. Miss Von Karma. Adrian Andrews believed you when you said that. If you don't tell the truth of what really happened, then Unguard will be found guilty. 
And what does that have to do with me? Because of that, she is now in danger of being found guilty herself! All because she believed in your words until you the very end. Hmm. That still has nothing to do with me. She's just a weak person, that's all. But you had to know she was. Ah! I think visiting hours are about over. So if you'll excuse me... What's wrong? Why did she suddenly cut you off? Probably because she thinks I had the advantage in that argument. Edgeworth. Hey, buddy, let's talk. What happened today at the trial, Edgeworth? That was not like you at all. Hmm. I mean, I know you knew about Miss Andrews' condition. You could have made her testify as many times as you wanted, but to go that far. Uh, but she wouldn't testify about that until I said something. Listen, right? The courtroom is a garden of judgment. I am putting myself on the line when I start... when I stand in there. And that's why I made the witness do the same. It's only natural. Adrian's card. By the way, Edgeworth, you were really angry in court today. That's rare of you. Witness? That card. Give it to me. Hurry. Do you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? This. I can't believe you hid this from me this whole time. That card. What in the world is it? Hmm. You mean this? Listen, right? This is top secret information. You absolutely cannot leak this. A special investigations team has existed for a number of years. But few know of it. I... I understand. Their task is to find the owner of this card. A man called Shelly DeKiller. Shelly DeKiller. Shelly DeKiller, Shelly DeKiller, Shelly DeKiller. Supposedly Shirley the Killer? Is that is that what it's supposed to mean? I don't get it. And just as his name states, he's a killer. An assassin. At the best at that. An assassin? Hmm. Assassin. So who is this Shelly the Killer? The killer is the name of a long-standing line of assassins. Long-standing? The name first appeared about 100 years ago, I hear. Shelley is the professional name of the third heir to the DeKiller name. So because his professional name is Shelley, he leaves cards with a shell on them? He has a habit of making sure to leave a card by the body of his victims. Why would he do something like that? We think it is a part of his duty to his clients. His duty? If he leaves a card, then his clients can be assured it was he who killed the victim. It also serves as insurance against any charges being pushed onto his clients. I see. The killer values the trust between his clients and himself. Above all else, it seems that this is one honorable assassin with a moral conscience. I guess that even honorable assassins can exist. He still kills people. So you think this assassin, you think he's the one who did the killing in this case? It would appear that way. The discovery of the card basically confirms it. Wouldn't you agree? Shelley the killer, huh? My situation. I noticed something at the trial today. You were behaving in a very strange manner. Is something the matter? I guess I should just tell him. Maya, she's been kidnapped. K kidnapped? What does the kidnapper want? An acquittal. I see. I had no idea. I will prepare a rescue team as soon as possible. 
and resolve this by tomorrow. What? What? Really? Did you hear that, Mr. Nick? M Mr. Edgeworth is going to... Stop trying to console me, Edgeworth. I don't need your pity. M Mr. Nick? There's no way you can find her. We don't have even a single clue to go on. There's only one way to save her. I! I have to get an acquittal somehow. It's the only way. Right. Listen. You need to know something. Juan Cadita was killed by Shelly the Killer. The client who ordered the job is Matt on guard. Your own client. Please stop! I can't listen to you! I can't believe that! I see. Well, if you want to continue investigation, you will need this. What is it? The hotel right now is restricted to police personnel only. As we are looking for any clues that might lead to Shelley to kill her. If you take this with you to the hotel, I'm sure they will let you enter. I make him such a Dracula. In any case, I must attend to the preparations for Maya's rescue team. We'll meet again if anything should happen. Now if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Mr. Nick! Do you, do you think Mr. Ungod hired an assassin? No way! I mean, he doesn't have a Psylocke. Yeah, yeah, I guess not. Maya. Please, all I ask is for you to make it home. Safe and sound. Date? Time? Location? <laughs> I guess even kidnappers can be a little clumsy. Clumsy enough to drop a card like this for me. And even though he said he was an assassin, I bet he's just making that up like how Nick does with everything in court. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, let's try out the card trick with this card I just found. Click. Sounds like I got the door open. Okay, time to go take a look around. Alright. Boop. Whoa! Okay, unexpected. A bear. It's a teddy bear. Water. What is this place? I've got a feeling I'm not in the hotel anymore. Are those videos over there? Well, I'll worry about that later. For now, I should be looking for clues. Now I can show them to Sis and maybe get out of here. Teddy bear. That's weird. What's a figurine doing on a, sh on a sofa in a place like this? I think it's a bear. Oh, how cute. But it's got a lot of cuts and slits on it. I wonder if it's some kind of puzzle or something. There's a framed picture on the, sitting on this coffee table. It's a picture of a woman. She's kind of pretty. Hey, it looks like something's written here. Let's see. I think it says, With love, Celeste. I bet this could be a clue. A clue to me. It's a raging clue. What's this? Dog door? Hmm, locked, of course. And it doesn't look like I can use the car to open this door. There's a little hole at the bottom of the door. If only it was a little skinnier, then maybe I can... I'd be able to crawl through here, through there. Computer. Oh, hey, it's a computer. I've never really used one before. Um, I have no idea where the power switch is on this thing. Drat, there goes my plan to use this somehow to get out of here. I can't see very well in this darkness, but it doesn't seem like there's anything there. What is this thing, an antenna? I guess? And this is a VCR? There sure are a lot of electronic gadgets here. But what is an antenna doing here? Oh, simple. Oh, this simply will not do. I cannot have you wandering around at will.
It seems that you're right. Mr. Wright is truly concerned about you. He is? For now, I would suggest you remain cooperative. If you cannot, there are ways in which I can help you. Ways? You mean... Dead men tell no tale, this is how the saying goes, correct? Did it dead? I'm almost certain I told you on our first meeting. I am an assassin. No, no way! You're lying. I mean, an assassin? People are not always who they appear to be. Nick! Hey, killer. The bear did it. Maybe the bear did do it. Mr. Nick? Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, pearls. I caught up in my thoughts about Maya's situation. Mr. Edgewell has left, you know? I guess for now I have no choice but to believe in Mr. Ungard. But I think I should listen to his story one more time. All right, let's get going, too. I'll wait. He said okay, and I said all right. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hey, guys. Okay, let's see here. Um, Detention center. Is he not here? I'm sorry, but visiting hours are over for today. Ah. Uh, uh, I have too many questions I need to ask. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm Phoenix Wright, a lawyer for one of the... You're Mr. Wright, you see? Oh, yeah, there's a message here for you. A message? It's from Madame Guard. Uh, here you are. What did he want? Is it something really important? I don't know. Well, let's see what it has to say. To the lawyer, dude. I've got something really important to tell you. Why do I feel uneasy all of a sudden? Beep beep. Oh, Mr. Wright! So actually, dude, I have a favor to ask of you. Had this cat named Shu? I didn't put out a lot of food when I left the house, so he's probably pretty hungry, dude. You think you can drop by my house and feed Shu for me, dude? My house is just a little ways down from the hotel, alright, dude? Alright. Huh. Th this is terrible. Let's hurry. We have to feed his cat. I'm sure poor Shu's stomach is growling by now. Y yeah I guess. Mount on guard's home jammed into a uh, note jammed into a pocket. A client's request is a request. Guess I should go check on it up on his cat. We're Matt's house is where we're going, and that's where Maya is, isn't it? Maya's gonna be at Matt's house, probably. How do I get to Matt's house? Oh, it's near the hotel, so go to the hotel first. Beep, 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 March 22nd. All right, Mr. Nick. Let's go look for clues. We have to for Mystic Maya's sake. You shall not pass! Yeah, it's Old Bag. Oh, Miss Old Bag! Don't empty value in my name and turn into a gasp, you spiky headed foof! Oof, oof. Because of you, I've been made to look like the old bad guy again. Although I did get a piece of gum from Edgy Boy, just as he promised. It is something much more valuable. I want Edgy Boy's heart. And it's all your fault. You've awakened the wild beast inside of this old bag. Gah! Um. Ah. Miss Old Bag, keep your hands off to you, off of me. This helmet is airtight. No air gets in or and no air gets out. Um, what does your helmet have to do with anything? Hm. Don't think you can get a, get me to move with silly questions. You're going to have to defeat me if you want to get by. I'm not hearing this. Alright, we're not here for this anyway. Let's go to the house. Living room. March 22nd, on guard mansion, living room. Hmm, sure is dark. I'll go turn on a light. Nope, not the same place. But there is a cat door, so maybe it is. Wow, so this is what a star's house looks like. Must be nice to be rich, and wanting to dive by motorcycle landing on you, Jesus Christ. Come on, Mr. Nick. Let's find Shu the kitty cat. Shu. Meow. 
So I guess this is Shu. Ah, uh, well, well, we can. Hello, Shu. Meow. Hehe. <laughs> the cat seems to like pearls. Pardon me. Ah, son of a bitch, there he is. There he is. We've run into him, but do we remember him? Huh? May I help you with something, Mr... Oh, uh, we're lawyers, actually. I'm, I'm Mr. Ungard's lawyer. The Masters... Then you must be Mr. Wright. Y yes Ah, uh, it's a pleasure to meet your wonderful self. I am the family butler, Chandu. Nice to meet you. Meow. So how come we're here to feed him if you're here? Bad and guard. You must know all sorts of things about Mr. Ungard, right? Honestly, sir, I don't believe my master is capable of such a foul deed as murder. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. Is it not appropriate for a lonely servant to speak of the master or his affairs? Hmm, how typically butler-like. As it were. Mr. Dell, how long have you been served, uh, at this residence? Well, sir, I would have to say maybe about one year. Hmm. Hmm. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of himself and his affairs. You know, I would have thought Mr. Ungard the kind to have a maid over a butler. What's a very cute cat you've got here? It is my duty to take care of him. The master rather fancies shoe. Mm hmm. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of the family cat. Well then, I guess I don't need this piece of scrap paper anymore. Madden Guard's note crumpled into a ball and thrown away. Well, I'm afraid I must take my leave of you now. Oh, we should probably get going ourselves. Ah, so young and yet already accom so accomplished. The Master of Law. But there's also a lot to be proud of being in a butler in charge of the house and all. Thank you for the compliment, sir. People are not always who they appear to be. Now, if you'll excuse me... Meow. He gave us a clue! He gave us a raging clue! She's in there! Maybe. It's a very comfortable and, sus and spacious lounge set. I wonder if famous stars drop by and sit around and have a good time. In any case, I don't really belong here, do I? Hmm. Ah! What is with me and feeling inferior today? Hmm? That motorcycle would make me uneasy as balls. Ah, a giant mo bicycle was flying through the air. Um, that bicycle, Pearls, is one where you don't have to pedal, and it moves on its own. Really? Wow. But sorry to disappoint you, it can't fly. Oh, that's too bad. Um, over here. No, Zigi. Oh, there's a giant cooking hearth here. That's actually a fireplace. How are they there for, Mr. Nick? Uh, you know, I've never actually seen a hearth before. Come to think of it. You should come and visit Faye Mallow, then. I'll show you one when you do. Uh, getting hot in here. There we go. Got a fan aimed at my crutch. There we go. It has to be aimed that low or else the mic's gonna pick it up. Okay, let's see here down here. Hmm, okay, nothing else. Let's just going. Wait. Did On Guard kill On Karita over Celeste? Ah, that mask here. Yeah, that one in the middle is the Steel Samurai. The ones next to them are the Pink Princess and the Evil Magistrate. They fought many battles against the backdrop of Neo Old Tokyo. Wow, you really know a lot about the Steel Samurai, Mr. Nick. Uh, I don't know whether to laugh or cry that I know more about that show than a kid. Hmm, did we get all the clues? Well, I don't even know if we got clues here. See any of those there? There's another door over there. 
You shouldn't go wandering off them, Mr. Nick. Yes, Pearls. Now I know how Maya feels when I tell her to stop playing around. But she's right there, probably. Alright. I'll tell Lobby. Talk. Not the Moida. Um. Ah! Your million light years too early to be asking me questions, Whippersnapper. Uh, looks like the only way I'm going to get any investigation investigating done is to first do something about this kooky alien. Um. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Hmm, maybe if I show her this letter I got from Edgeworth. Um, Miss Oldbag, if you would look at... What? You want me to look at this worthless piece of... Edgy poo! Uh, is that a perfume? Pheromone de amour? Amour, I smell? Ugh. Let's see here. Would you please allow this unsophisticated young man to conduct his investigation? Yours truly, Miles Edgeworth. Y yours truly? <laughs> that man's good at flattery. Fine, but only because Edgy Poo said so, you understand? Letter of introduction given to Miss Oldbag. I just thought of something I have to do. Remember, no messing around. You do anything bad and I won't let you off the hook. <laughs> it looks like she has strong feelings for Mr. Edgeworth. That may be, but you know nothing's going to come of it. That's so mean, Mr. Nick. Feelings are meant to be told and shared. Ow! Every time we talk about love, I always end up with a fit handprint on my face somehow. Um, so anyway, let's continue our investigation. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Ah! What? What now? One little thing before I forget. You can't go down God's room today. Why? <laughs> Why? The police's main investigation team is going to be in there all day, you hear? I wonder if they're the team in charge of investigating the killer. But don't go in there. Set one foot in there and you'll face the wrath of Wendy Oldberg. Yay. Viola Hall. Hmm. Looks like we're the only ones here. And yet, the hotel seems so busy somehow. Probably because the police team is scouring for clues about the killer. Oh, wait. Oh my god, it's Lada! I didn't expect freaking Lada. Okay, here we go. Hey, Cinnabar! Look, Lana, you're still here? Reckon course! An investigated... An investigated photographer eats... Our stars on her ability to snap out the scoop, yeah? And this hotel has... Just has that R mysterious. You know, like something's always about to happen. But, do you have a camera? Rick given! Photographers gotta have cameras out the ear like corn to be a real pro, you know? So I'm hanging around here. Speaking of cameras and uh, feeding the, the mouth, you have mine, you bread thief? Why can't you drop that thief thing already? Hmm? Night of the Moida. I wanna ask you about the night of the murder. What? You really gonna shell out the bucks for the info I got? Lotta, you were loitering in this hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kind of, but... Brace yourself, right? Here it comes. I didn't exactly hang around here the entire time, you know? Found a few stars around. Got a few phot phot autographs, shook a few hands, had a soda pop with a few of them, too. Looks like she wasn't here the entire time, that night. The security lady was also wasn't in the hallway the whole time, either. 
I guess this means there's no one who can tell us who came and went that night. It's about the note that was inside your camera case. Oh, that ditty I wrote? Yeah, can I believe what you... Uh, can I believe what you've written? You mean the stuff about Angao shoving his manager lady onto Karita? Yeah. Ah, uh, well, I reckon you best not be believing that. What? Look, I sort of wrote that on a whim, you know? Writing whatever came to mind. Whatever came to mind? Yeah, when you get down to it, it's just a lot of... Random bull duders. <clears throat> uh huh. Hey, what what's with you? Why are you staring at me like my grandpa used to? Hmm. Hey, why do you look like you suddenly got older too? Or am I just shrinking here? Um. What the hell? Ah, my baby, my sixteen hundred baby, six hundred dollar baby. What's with that red-coated prosecutor, anyhow? The guy told me it was evidence and refused to give it back to me. Well, that's kind of how it is. Hey, hey! You're that red coat's friend, ain't you? So put in a few good words for me and get me back my camera. Y you want me to do that? Do what? Listen, nag the guy real good for about five hours and I guarantee he'll give it back. Why don't you do your own dirty work? Hmm. Well, I reckon it's time for me to get going. A tablet photographer without a camera is just a tabloid, huh? Um, yeah, I guess so. Keep yourself together out there. You hear? I'm coming to see you in court tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you then. And you too there, little un. You about to get work, okay? Okay. Don't be picky about your food, okay? <laughs> Okay. And make sure you do all your homework, you, you hear? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you happen to find yourself a camera. Make sure you bring it right back to me, yeah. Would you please just leave already? Oh my god, okay. Whole lot of teddy bears. Teddy bears. I can understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms. But what are stuffed bears doing here? Could it be that there's an action star who has a soft spot for teddy bears? Nah, can't be. What am I gonna find in here? A whole lot of bears. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the hell? M -m -m Mr. Nick! What what is that otherworldly ghastly moaning? Mm, 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 mm. I I hate evil ghosts. Why? I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon? Holy crap! <laughs> ah great, we get to talk to her again. Excuse me? What are you calling a demon, brat? Ah! Zoinks, it's the alien! Who are you calling an alien? Oh my god. Oh, it's just you, Miss Old Bag. What are you doing here? What is wrong with youngins today? I came down here to pay my respects to my poor Juan, and you're disturbing me. Great. Please talk to me about the night of the murder just one more time. I talked about it plenty at the trial. I was fooled, tricked, deceived by that fraud of a photographer and her note. She was lighting around here with that imbecilic look on her face. With that imbecilic look on her face? Okay, got it. Now, now hold on a second there, you little pipsqueak. They're going to take notes, at least makes me sound better than that. Oh, alright. Now I've seen everything. But you know, I was working that night too. Doing my job, minding my own business. It was not like I had time to waste standing around here the whole night. Maybe you could eat. 
I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about Mr. Kurita. He was the most popular star, you know. Especially when it counts in my book. What does that mean? But I heard that he was lagging behind in the polls against Mr. Ungar. Ah, well, that's just a recent thing. Bad luck and all that, you know. But he was going to become an even bigger star than he used to be. Look, just look at this mountain of presents. It's a show of the mountain of feelings all his fans had for him. Yeah, the mountain is pretty big and certainly nothing to shake a stick at. Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pearls? The presents, they're all bears, aren't right? She's got a point. There isn't a single thing here that isn't a bear. All of Mr. Kurita's presents from his fans seem to be bears. Oh, that's because you can't think of Juan without thinking about bears. Bears? Why bears? You don't know? When my dear Juan was training, he fought barehanded with a bear. He refused to give in and let the bear win. But after the fight, they became friends. Wow! What a heartwarming story! Look! It's just like in those young people's dramas. I can see those two tuckered out. Down by a river going, heh. <laughs> you, you can sure can fight. You too, Bob, you too. D did all that really happen? It's in his biography, Bob. What a load of crock. Well, ever since then, fans have been giving him bears as presents. Yeah, nice. Bears. Rah! I'm out the bin and I say it's barely 8 o'clock! <laughs> what is that infernal racket? That's one of the presents going off. Sounds like it's already 8 p.m. Way past your bedtime. Ugh, that startled me. I thought I was going to die for a second. 8 p.m.? That's the time when there was someone ended that night, remember? That sure f time sure flies. Hard to believe it's been two days since the ceremony. Beep, 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 The transceiver. Beep. Taking a drink. Hello? Hello? This is not a phone. Maya! How is Maya? You haven't heard her, have you? It seems you were not able to fulfill your end of the bargain, Mr. Knight. Ah! I have heard the news. So it would seem my present did you no good. No, no, Mystic Maya. Mystic Maya! One more day! Please! All I ask for is one more day! I... I'll get a not guilty verdict for sure this time, please! Hmm. I suppose if I must. I need that acquittal more than anything else, after all. Please, please let Maya say something. I want to hear her... I want to hear she's alright. Alright. Then... A little... What is with the static all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? It seems uh, his, his, his bad. Uh, his, his, his. Connect. His, his. Damn it! Did the transceiver just suddenly break? This is. Uh, excuse me. This is. I'm assuming Maya did something. What? What happened? I don't know. All of a sudden, it became nothing but static. Ma, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. Why did the transceiver suddenly break like that? I should probably have an electronics expert look at it. The sooner the better. Moving on. Hotel lobby. Uh, right and co? Where's Dick? I can't find my dick! Hey, welcome back, pal. I thought I'd make you a little something for dinner. Th that's nice, thanks. It's a, it's a rich man's luxurious full-course meal. Out of a can, that is. I'm sorry you went through all that trouble to cook, but I don't have the time to eat. Oh, hey, you don't have a can opener here, pal. You've got to be kidding. 
And here I thought he had already whipped something up. Oh, I know. There's one way I know how to be helpful. Ask him about anything you want, pal. Go ahead. Well, since he's here and offering, I wonder what I should try asking him about. Oh, I don't know any of that. <laughs> hey, Yoshi. Uh, the transceiver? Hey, take a look at this. It's in my pants. The transceiver? Oh, Mr. Nick, you should ask Mr. Squaffy to tell you about that thing. Well, what thing? Oh, yeah. This thing just up and broke all of a sudden. It, it broke, pal? When I was talking to the kidnapper, it just suddenly broke into static. Look, it sounded like this. But, huh? I don't hear anything, pal. Uh, huh? Maybe it fixed itself? That's strange. I'm sure it was making a loud static noise. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe it was electromagnetic interference, pal. Electric magnetic interference. What the balls, man? What is that? Um, so what is electromagnetic interference? It's something that happens when a radio wave gets mixed up with another signal, pal. Oh, when you put it that way... I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, for example, when a cell phone goes off next to a computer screen, the stuff on the screen gets all kind of fuzzy and starts acting funny, right? Huh? Computer? Uh... Um, um, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV and the screen starts looking weird. Uh, oh, yes, the TV does that. Hmm. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. She seems amazingly happy at being able to understand this. She's too damn cute. So the room you were in when that interference to the transceiver happened... There's gotta be something there that's sending out very strong radio waves, pal. Something like, hmm... Like a listening device or something. Ah! Hey, speaking of that, where were you when it happened, pal? We were in Mr. Kanita's room. The scene of the murder. What? That's it. I'm going to sneak into the precinct and get a bug sweeper. I'll meet you at the crime scene later, all right, pal? Ah, uh, wait! Come, Shu! Oh yeah, baby. It's investigation time. I'm on fire, pal! My fingers are itching to go! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Where are you going to, Mr. Nick? Alright, let's go. Back to the scene of the crime. To the Moida! I haven't been to Criminal Affairs Office yet, have I? Bye, Lahal. So many wombs. Here we go. Give me the clock. Hey, you're finally here, pal! So, sorry to keep you waiting. Do you have, um, bug sweeper? Um, well, you see... I got busted trying to sneak in, pal. And suddenly I'm staring at the precinct doors. From the outside, I mean. So yeah, I, I couldn't get one of the police bug sweepers. Ah. What do you mean you couldn't get it? We need that item! Hey, hey, pal! pal come down, pal! I didn't say I didn't get one! She's not the police's. Wow, so this is a bug sweeper. It looks a little broken. Hey, th this was made when I was in elementary school, pal. Oh? By who? Me, of course. <laughs> Seeing this sure brings back memories of last week. <laughs> hey, don't look down at me like that, pal. Sure, it looks a little run down. But I put my heart and soul into building this puppy here. Yeah, hot and so. It'll work, trust me, pal. It'll do the job. But. But. But you can't set the sensitivity. There's going to beep at anything that gives off electromagnetic waves. But isn't it better that way? Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, since I brought it all this way, might as well as give it a whirl. Right, pal? I'm getting that sinking feeling again. 
Okay, now I'll tell you how to use this baby. This listen device or something other other sort of bug hidden in this room, pal. Now we're going to find it, right? Right, now first let's turn the sweeper on. Next, touch the sweeper and take a real good look around the room with it, pal. You can see how strong the radio waves are in an area by looking at the check gauge. Once you find something that's giving off strong waves, the gauge will change. And when that happens, touch the gauge to really give the thing a long, hard stare. There's a lot of things here that's going to give off radio waves. So let's take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? Alright, I'm going to go stand outside and keep an eye out. Give me a yell if you find the bug, got it, pal? The balls? Okay, we found a thing. Lamp, check. Listening device, nope. There are a lot of lamps in this room, aren't there, Mr. Nick? Yeah. And they're all on. You shouldn't do that, Mr. Nick. Don't you know that's wasteful? Ah, yeah, I'll be more con conscientious from now on. Sorry. The TV as well. I don't really think the listening device is in the TV of all places. It looks like the TV was left on. And it's now showing no semi moving, Mr. Nick. Yeah, this, this channel plays all sorts of international movies as well as domestic ones. You know... Every time I watch one of these mo old movies, I, th I always think, Wow, these Japanese stars are real good English. Um, yeah. When I grow up, I want to study Japanese. I should probably keep my mouth shut here and not destroy her dream. Um, huh. A bear. Ah, oh, what a lovely bear. Ah! Ah! Huh, this must be one of those fancy bear-shaped toy robots. It's a robot? It's a real robot? Yeah, yeah, it's a real one. Mr. Nick? Y yeah? How many horsepower is it? How many horsies? Horsies? Um, uh, well, look, it's a bear, so, uh... Uh, um... <laughs> oh my god! A cell phone! Nope, no bugs in here! A cell phone? W what? Don't tell me you don't know what a cell phone is! I'm sorry, I've never seen one before. Now that she mentions it... My cell phone couldn't get any reception while I was staying in Kurdane Village. And Pearls has never lived outside of that village, so... Well, I guess I can't say it's impossible to live without one. That's a lamp. I really hope the guitar case would have one. Is it gonna be the bear, or is it gonna be some of those? Well, the phone is most common place for a listening device, I'd say. But let's take the receiver apart first before we get ahead of ourselves here. Wow, you know a lot about electronics, don't you, Mr. Nick? Yeah, I know tons, especially when it comes to taking them apart. It's my specialty. I'll leave the fixing part up to Gumshoe. So, is there a listening device in there? Nope! And I really thought it had to be in the phone, too. Boombox. The way was on and playing something. Oh, it's Kid's Question Corner. Professor, Professor, is, why is the Earth round? Yes, why is it, Mr. Nick? Uh, why don't you listen to the radio program a little more, Pearls? Alright, so it's not over there, obviously. Coffee maker, refrigerator, laptop. I guess we should just get them all so they might be funny. Why is this? It sort of looks like a hot water pot. Mm. But... Oh well, it's kind of like a hot water pot, I guess. But instead of hot water, coffee, coffee comes out. 
Really? Th this pot can do that? Um, is there a pot that orange juice comes out of? I don't think there's anything like that, Pearls. Sorry. All the water in this hot water pot has run out. I go get my wire for it. Uh, okay, sounds good. Looks like she's forgotten all about looking for the listening device. Refrigerator. This is a refrigerator, right? I really don't think the listening device is in something like this. Because it's filled with nothing but healthy vegetable juices, right? Uh, yeah, sure. What does that have to do with listening devices? The bear? This is... This is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Hey, so did you guys find it yet? The listening device, I mean, pal? No, not yet. But this bear's eyes... <laughs> let's see, let's see here. A perfectly normal stuffed bear with some really strong radio waves. Sounds like you found the device to me, pal. Let's dig this big fella's eye out and see what you, we've got. Ah! No, no, you can't! Such, such a violent act! Oof! No! Ugh. Th that's... It's a major camera and it looks like there's more. There's a transmitter and a timer. A what a what meter? A transmitter, pal. It's weird how he's competent and incompetent, right? Oh, is this more of that high-tech stuff? Alright, let's get the talking, dick. So this tiny thing is a camera? Yep, it's a pinhole CCD camera, pal. It's a small high-grade video camera, mostly used in security systems. So what's a video camera? It runs on a battery which comes with it in a set, pal. But... There's no videotape on this camera. There's only the camera part here, pal. The tape recorder with the tape inside it is somewhere else, pal. Somewhere else? Where Maya is. The footage is changed into radio waves and then it's sent to that recorder. So, it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Hey, you know! You're right! Holy crap, okay. So, what is a transmitter? It's a device that sends footage the camera took to a specific destination. It's like a video version of a listening device, pal. It looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's a timer, pal. You can set it to turn the camera on and record at a certain time with it. You can set it for a certain time? Yep. Let's see, this looks like it was set to start at 8 p.m. and go for an hour. 8 p.m.? That was the time the award ceremony ended. There's no date set, so it's been recording every night, I guess. M Mr. Uh, Detective, how long has this been been here? Um, I'm pretty sure it's been here since the night of the murder. Then, then maybe. Maybe this camera caught the murder on tape. W what? And if you think about the angle the bear is at, it's bound to have a clear shot of the whole crime, pal. Holy balls! So there was a camera in this bear's eye? And it was disguised as a present. And I'm sure it was here on the night of the murder, pal. Pretty big, so it stands out pretty well in my mind. But who gave Mr. Karina this present? I, uh, don't know, pal. But, this means that someone out there's got a video of what happened here that night. Isn't there any way we can find out who that person is? Can be the killer, so doesn't help us. It's impossible, pal. Radio waves can be sent almost anywhere, so there's no real way to find out. Oh, sniffle. Is there really no way to find out? 
Hmm. I got it. But what? Hey, pal. Let me borrow this mini camera for a bit. But what are you going to do? I'm going to go around to the electronic shop to see if I can find out who bought this. But, but that's impossible. I mean, it's already 9 p.m. Leave it to me. Even if I have to search all night, I'll find your fan, pal. Bye, camera and transmitter. Given to Detective Gumshoe. Oh yeah, baby. It's investigation time. <laughs> I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching to go. Yeah! He's gone. Yeah. A Mr. Squiffy Detective show is a nice man. He's pushing himself so hard all for Mystic Meyer's sake. Edgeworth, he always managed to do things in the most ineffective ways. Ah! Got it! You'll have to excuse me. I heard your conversation just now. Edgeworth! What are you doing here? A rescue team has been created and deployed. I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward, one step at a time. I... I see. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find her. Hmm. Hmm. So there was a spy camera hidden inside the stuffed animal, hmm? You are one lucky man, right? Huh? Do you know the stuffed bear, little girl? Um, I have no idea. Hmm, of course not. The maker of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand from overseas. It's completely handmade, and there are very few that are exported here. What? what The camera and transmitter that Scatterbrain Detective took with him are dead ends. Things like those can be bought anywhere. However, this bear is different. By tracking how it got into this country, this bear can tell us who the buyer is. Matt Ungard. Yeah, can you really do that? Mr. Nick, can he really? I... well, I guess so. Hmm. It's 9 p.m. I think I can still make it in time. Hmm? I'll be taking this for now. I'm sure you have other things you have to do. Gonna walk around the giant bear? Nice. See you soon, right? What? Wait! What? Why are you doing this? I have no interest in explaining myself to someone who cannot comprehend. But besides that, right? Until court reconvenes tomorrow, you should concern yourself with this question. Who was the person that murdered Juan Carida? The real killer? Do you really still think it was Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. Hmm. You still have a little time left. Find the truth, Mr. Wright. Everything begins with the truth. Well, obviously the killer did it. Juan Carita, real killer. Miss Andrews passed. The kidnapper whose sole condition is an acquittal for Mr. On Guard. And this card. Shelly the Killer. Maya, the only way I can save you now is to find all the answers to this case tonight. I don't understand what your real intentions are, on Edgeworth. But as you said, all I can do for now is find the truth. Did we continue? Yep, did we continue? So we're halfway through the investigation then, huh? Save. Alright. The bear's still there. The bear's still there. The bear's still there. Okay, whatever, okay. So that is it for now. Oh my god, the bear is still there, everybody. The bear is still there. Um, That's it for now. There's something up in my throat. I don't know what's going on. But that is the game for now. 
I had fun. Hope you're watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time. I'm wondering, though, the hell is going to happen? Like, we were, we're essentially, we might have been where Maya is, and that's, that's crazy. I'm, I can't wait for that reaction when we actually find Maya there, if that's where it is. Oh, see you later.